Thank you. All of you. It is true that our hearts were broken that seemingly innocent December day when we had to say goodbye to so many of our loved ones. But we know that one day they have a chance to live again. One of those whom we lost was my good friend, Matthew Brown. He was a man that I confided in, that I went to war with, who I sweat with, who I laughed with, and who I cried with. And I can only hope that through our heartache, we can create a world that when my friend is revived, it is one in which I am proud of him living in. As we become this unified planet, we owe it to our friends. To our families whom we have lost. The earth will survive as long as we do our part and our society will flourish to all do our part to make this world a better place. For we shall become that shining city on a hill that John Winthrop dreamed of. A city that is tall and proud and built upon a foundation of rock stronger than the oceans. Wind swept and God blessed and teeming with life. People of all kinds living in harmony. And peace. A city with free ports that hum with, with commerce and creativity. And if that city should have walls, they will be walls that have doors. Doors that are open to anyone with the heart and the will to get there. For we must become such as this city we have. And we will not sacrifice humanity to live. We will not just survive, we will thrive. And the political divisions of the capitalist and the socialist, the left and the right, no longer exist. And we will create the ultimate dream of humankind by eliminating poverty in one single generation. So let the old divisions and we must become a world that our creator will be proud of. One that we are proud of. A peaceful planet. And that shining city upon a hill that we have dreamed, that we have aspired to be for so long. <laughs>